This is Junior Roberts from realjuniorroberts.com. In this video, we'll be looking at what happens to an AC signal as it flows through a diode, so stay tuned. So first of all, let's define what an AC signal is and talk, and talk a little about what a diode is. So first of all, an AC signal is a voltage signal which gives rise to an alternating current flow. And a diode is a semiconductor device which allows current to flow in one direction only. So in this video, we'll be looking at uh, what happens when uh, the AC signal which changes direction uh, flows through a diode. So let's begin uh, by constructing a circuit and uh, investigating that circuit. So first of all, we'll need a diode first. So this is our diode here. Then we'll need uh, an AC source. So let's get an AC signal here. We'll need a ground signal. And we'll need a resistor to limit the current flowing through the circuit. So we're gonna use um, a, a one kilo ohm resistor. So let's just assemble the circuit and then we should be ready to go. So first let's change this to five volts RMS and 50 Hertz. All right, so let's connect up the circuit. All right, so this is our circuit constructed. So we have um, a five volts RMS, 50 Hertz AC signal flowing through this diode and the current is limited by this resistor here. So in order to actually examine the signal that is flowing in the circuit, we're gonna use um, an oscilloscope to, to, to check that. So we're gonna use this oscilloscope here, which one probe can actually monitor, monitor one of the, the input, which is the signal going into the diode and the other probe can monitor the output. So let me just get the thing situated here. All right, so we're gonna use this here to monitor the input, which is here. All right, and this will monitor our output, which is here. So let's change this color here to something more interesting, like blue. Okay, so this, pro this uh, input here is monitoring the input, and this is monitoring the output. So let's uh, get the oscilloscope turned on and activate the circuit. All right, so we have channel one on, which is this channel here, measuring the input. So this is what the input looks like. Let me just get it uh, a little more. All right, so this is the input. Let's get the intensity up. Okay, so this is our input. As we're seeing, uh, we're seeing a typical uh, alternating signal which actually changes direction. So this is our zero reference line. So we have the AC signal flowing up and then it goes negative and continues on. All right, so let's activate channel two and see what happens. So, so this is, we have channel one and channel on. And remember channel, channel two is monitoring the output of the diode. So let's turn off channel one and focus on channel two. So this is channel two. Right, and as you can see, um, we have the, the, the alternating signal flowing like this and then it, it gets clipped off. So eventually what happened is that um, the positive side of the, the positive um, half of the AC signal is allowed to pass through, but as soon as it starts to flow negative or in the opposite direction, the diode blocks it off totally. All right, so this is um, what happens when an AC signal passes through a diode, right? Um, this application is actually used um, to propel uh, various electronics electronic device, for example, we might use, use this application to convert AC to DC in order to uh, power some of your more common electronic devices. Right? For example, on your cell phone, uh, it is powered strictly by DC, so we would need to convert our AC signal from the wall socket to uh, a form which the cell phone can use, on, right? which, is, which is DC. But the drawback to this a particular application. This is actually an half-wave rectification, right? Um, so as you realize, um, half of the signal is actually clipped off. So at one particular time, I might be getting 
uh, voltage signal and then no voltage signal and then the voltage signal comes again, so, right? So in certain sensitive devices, this might be a problem, right? So we uh, utilize our more advanced methods to convert AC to DC. So in future videos, uh, I will go into to that, but if there was anything in this video that you wish to get further clarification on, please feel free to post them in the comments below or send me an email to junior at realjuniorroberts.com. Also, if you found this valuable and you think it might be of benefit to someone, please feel free to share it uh, on any one of the, your favorite social media platforms. Also, click thumbs up on this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.